Let's sketch a supply curve. Suppose the yearly supply of wheat in Canada is given by quantity supplied is 0.15 plus P. P is the average price of wheat in Canadian dollars per bushel, and QS is the quantity of wheat produced in billions of bushels. So let's find the quantity of wheat supplied at each of the following prices. Suppose the price of a bushel is $2. To find the quantity supplied, we'll use our original equation and we'll plug in 2 for price. This one's quite simple to solve. We've got quantity supplied as 3.5. Now remember that's 3.5 billions of bushels. Suppose the price is $3. We'll use our same original supply equation, plugging in 3 for the price and we'll get 4.5 billion bushels. Now this makes sense. When the price went up to $3, the quantity supplied also increased. What if the price were $4? Using our original supply equation, plugging in the 4 for price, we get 5.5 billion bushels. Let's sketch the supply curve and then answer whether or not it obeys the law of supply. One thing we'd like to do when sketching a supply curve is to find where it intercepts the vertical axis. And in this case, that's the price intercept. So the way we find the price intercept is we'll plug in 0 for quantity and then solve for P. So I've made the left-hand side 0 as I've plugged in for QS, and now it's straightforward to solve for P. We find negative 1.5. Now, when your p-intercept is negative for your supply curve, you should also go ahead and solve for the q-intercept because it'll make it a lot easier for you to graph your curve. To find the q-intercept, let's plug in 0 for p and solve for q. So I've plugged in 0 for p. Very simple to solve for qs. It's 1.5. So now we've got our p and q-intercepts, and we've got three points we can plot on our supply curve. So here I've got the price in Canadian dollars of a bushel of wheat and the quantity in billions. Here's my Q-intercept of 1.5. My P-intercept was a negative 1.5, so I'd actually have to extend my vertical axis down into the negative quadrant to show that negative 1.5. But since a price of a negative 1.5 doesn't make any sense, we often just leave that off. I can go ahead and plot my other points now. I know when the price is $2, the quantity supplied is 3.5 billion. I found that when the price is $3, the quantity supplied is 4.5 billion. And when the price is $4, 5.5 billion. I can connect all of these points, and that becomes my supply curve. So what remains to answer is whether or not this curve obeys the law of supply. Well, the law of supply says there's a positive or direct relationship between price and quantity supplied, holding everything else constant. And we see here that, yes, as the price goes up, so does the quantity supplied. We do have the law of supply in effect here.